We're back on Jack with the Boss, Piece of Wax, continuing with the top songs in the third week of October 1974. And some of the celebrities that were born during the third week of October include Tito Jackson, Chuck Berry, Peter Tosh, Ziggy Marley, George McRae, actor Howard Rollins, Bobby Humphreys, Wynton Marsalis, and Jennifer Holliday. And in position number 10 during that third week of October 1974, these was Mrs. Isley's Little Crumb Snatchers from Teaneck, New Jersey, the Isley Brothers, of course, with a bad jam called Live It Up. The Classic Soul Countdown. Frankie Crocker, number nine. Oh, you talking about putting a bag on with that record, Mr. Marvin Gaye, with just one of his many signature songs, Distant Lover, coming in at number nine. You know, I was just sitting here thinking about Jennifer Holliday, who, as I mentioned a moment ago, is celebrating her birthday this week. You know, her biggest success came from the Broadway play Dreamgirls, which, of course, reminds us of the Dreamgirls of the 60s, the Supremes. Now, let's play another countdown bonus song. Now, here is the Tony and Grammy Award-winning single that made us remember why some people can sing and others can just flat out sing. Here is Miss Jennifer Holliday, and I'm telling you, I'm not going. My man Johnny Bristol said, hang on in there, baby, coming in at number seven during the third week of October, 1974. And for your edification, the number eight song was Happiness Is by New York City. But of course, we played and enjoyed Miss Jennifer Holliday. But hang on tight. Frankie Crocker says it's got to be all right. You don't have to turn out the lights to do what's right. We'll be right back, and that's a fact. Don't go away. The Classic Soul Countdown. I'm Nick. 